Good afternoon. Welcome to Thursday and welcome to Better Connecticut. Hope you're having a great afternoon out there, everyone. I had a really good right now and unfortunately... That is mine, I think. They thought mine was more enthusiastic. Uh, uh, I don't understand. I don't understand it. It's National Cat Day! Yay! National Cat Day! Wow. Hello, kitty cats across wow. the earth. We love you. Oh, very nice. Very good. We have some... <laughs> There's my little dasher out on the deck last week. Little. Well, he's a big boy. He's 16 pounds and... Um, 18 years old? 18 years old. Had a couple of health uh, problems last week, and uh, but he's bounced back and he's doing great. And Aww. I'm very excited because I don't think I could have shed another tear. Aww. Yeah, it was pretty this sad. This is Angelo. But, uh, you know, he's very oh, helpful around the house. He's in, doing the dishes. <laughs> as soon as you get something emptied, a laundry basket, a dishwasher, he's like, well, look, I'll go in there. Exactly. This is the one that got loose. This is Angela who broke out of, yes, he was, he was a bad Where's boy. Where's Serafina? Uh, she's coming. And she oh, attacked my her. hydrangeas that I had put out pretty hydrangeas. And then she took them out and put them all over the table. Your cats are mischievous. They are. They're mischievous cats. They are. Yeah, my cat is not mischievous. He, he barely, except he is getting into a habit now of he's waking me up in the middle of the night and saying pet me. Like he paws at me now. Yeah. He's never done that in his whole life. And I'm Aww, like, what are you doing now? That's cute. No, at night they're all quiet. They just sit on my lap and they're, but during the day, they're little terrors. Yeah, okay, yeah. very good. You know right. what? <laughs> there was a humpback whale spotted in Old Lyme. Yesterday. Oh my God! Look at this, this is in the Long Island Sound. A fisherman caught the, uh, spotted what was a, a humpback whale. They got it on video. You can see the tail. Look at that. Look wow. at it breaching there. Wow. You know, and that's very unusual uh, to see. They yeah, say I think the, they haven't seen one since 2017. Yeah, the last time the humpback was documented in Connecticut was three years ago. We're not exactly the place you go for whale watching tours. But You know why this happened yesterday? No. Because it was hump day. Ah! <laughs> Maybe, maybe. It's the hump whack whale. It's like it's hump day. I'm showing my, I'm showing myself. I love it. But they say if you're tr gonna try and head out there to catch some of this, cut your engines because they are susceptible to getting hit by boat motors. Oh. So they want to make sure you cut your engines and just view from a distance. If you do see one, get your phones ready, but cut your engines. So they're just so, when you see so something majestic. like that, it just it's so majestic. So so majestic. And this also will make you feel good today. They show little babies in the NICU Look, at Philadelphia no. Hospital. Look, all dressed up. Subway. He's a little Subway. He's that a is little, adorable. He's a little hero. Aww. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And what no, is this, she? This is uh, Apollo Creed. No, I don't. Oh, it's the oh, crazy, she's crazy cat, cat lady. Kelly. I oh, is she from that's like little tiger cat baby? Oh, I Carol, don't know. But... She's just a. Oh. She's just a crazy cat lady. Okay. okay. Very good. What else we got? That's a, is that Apollo Creed? Maybe. No, that's that's uh, that's Sully from Monsters, Inc. Oh, okay. All yes, right, very that's good. Sully from Monsters, Inc. Jamie, if we do get to Apollo Creed, would you let me know? There we go. That's Apollo Creed. Oh, my gosh. Look at the tiny, teeny, weeny little boxing mitts. God bless. This is a chop, Kara. The, uh, that's the nickname for the hospital because um, it stands for the... Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Thank you, Haynes. Yeah. Oh, Chop. I love that they did that. Know, That's so really cute. Good. That's so, so cute. Now, when you got to vote, vote, you got to vote. You got to vote. Even yeah. when you're about to have a baby. You got to vote. Yeah, there was a pregnant woman. She was in Florida and on her way to the hospital, but she made her husband take her to the polling station because she said, I have to make sure that I get my ballot and I can vote before I go and have this baby. Yeah, she they said, as long as you get it to us by November 3rd, it counts. And she said, I got it. She got her mail-in ballot, but she literally stopped off at the polling place on the way to deliver the baby. Well, and I guess the husband went in there and he said, I need a ballot. I'm like, well, I'm so sorry, you know, you have to be able to show ID. He's like, well, it's gonna be hard. My wife is in labor in the car. So How, the what do they do? Do they go the outside? The poll worker went outside, saw her in the car, verified her, and then gave her the ballot. And they went on their way to the hospital because he now was like, well, I don't know that I can make her come in. She's in labor. Now they should name it after the winner. So it should, it should either be Joe or Donald. If they, what if it's a girl? Josephine or Donalika? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think Donalika's a name. All right, I'm trying here. Donna. 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 Oh, that works better. Donna, thank you. Thank you. All right, if you, you want to. Get by with a little help from your friends on this show. <laughs> if you want a Coca Cola, 
maybe you can have it and you don't have to touch anything. You don't have to have Corona and Coca-Cola, just Coca-Cola. So you're going to download, you're going to take a picture of the thing on the, the code on the uh, It's a machine, so machine. You, yeah, you scan it, a little yeah, QR code. Yeah, they have this in Moe's, but not the, Q, I don't think they have the QR code yet, but they have all the different choices, over 200 flavors you can get. And then you download the R R the QR code. QR code. You know, like when you're going to a restaurant nowadays and they're yeah, not giving you, have to you menus. Yeah, you the menu, right? Yeah, so it's the same thing. It pops up on your phone. You select what you want. You can even control pouring it from you your pay? phone. How do you pay? Probably from it, your phone. I guess it's linked to your uh, credit card, right? Yeah, like maybe your, your Apple, Apple ID, pay your or Apple your pay, Google your Apple Pay. ID. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, never, these are all the rage. These outdoor bubble tents. I well, want one of these. They're back. Look at this. How cool is this? It's a bubble tent. They sold out on Amazon, but apparently they're back again. And they have two sizes, and they help keep you. You can put heaters in there and stay warm. I don't know if I've And have it. outdoor gatherings. I know it seems like you shouldn't, but they do say that you, a lot of people are using them for outdoor like the, rooms, and they put heaters in Not them. the torch kind, like the, the space heater. No, more like, like a space heater. Um, and if you remember... Who out there, I want to know, remembers the bubble umbrella? It's the bubble umbrella from Sitco. It was a bubble umbrella. Really? Right? Yes, absolutely. I, I don't know about that one. Yeah, and it was a big umbrella, and it was clear, and it came all the way down. It was like a big, you were in a bubble. So if you remember that, let me know. Also, if you remember, you'll have adventure at Catskill Game Farm. Adventure is in our nature. Yes, wait, where's that? Because I'm putting where? earworms in people's ears. What is that? I remember that. The Catskill Game Farm was here, and uh, it was in New York, and it was a big popular <sighs> ad around here. I must here. have just heard it more recently, because I didn't. Yeah, I think I was saying it a oh, couple okay. of days ago. Oh, okay, maybe that's it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Panera, they now, you know, you've got your pick two. Now you can pick pizza. Panera finally is answering the call to action from their fans. They're creating pizza. They said it's because people are eating less breakfast, so they're focusing on some dinner items. And, hey, they've already got bread, cheese, and sauce. Yeah, but McDonald's is focusing in on more breakfast items, And although the 24-hour But you're not going to have breakfast for 24 hours. And if I went to McDonald's at any hour of the day, I would probably just order an Egg McMuffin. Yeah, they can't. I think it's on hold because of COVID, the breakfast oh. 24 hours. Anyway, we'll see. All right, for more celebrity news, you can catch the all-new People TV right here on Channel 3 at 7.30. Yes, we're going to check in with Kay and Lawrence right now for a preview. Tonight on People. It breaks your heart as a mother, but everybody deserves to participate in Halloween. Hello, I am Astronaut Jay, and this is my sidekick, Banks. Parents of children with disabilities know all too well the struggle to find Halloween costumes for their kids. We always tried to find a dress that would be easy to put on her. Um, since she's not very mobile in her lower part of the body, it makes it very hard for her to um, put uh, the dress all the way up. So, you know, he's like a typical kid. He wants to wear you know, what his friends are wearing, what's popular, what he sees on TV. And sometimes those really aren't good options for us. We'll show you how adaptive clothing is now helping children of all abilities have a sweeter Halloween tonight on People. That's wonderful. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. 